four for a pound, yeah? Any DVDs and CDs, yeah. Any so this this Kerry Grant one, because it's all full, this yeah. is three quid, yeah? Three quid, yeah. yeah. For all of it, yeah. You can open it. Yeah. 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 Right, I'll double check they're all there, mate, and I'll have that. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How much? How much are they, mate? The Mac. I ain't got dead for ads if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather have left it and <laughs> break it. I'm going to bring them. Come on, today, I think you are going how much are the DVDs? Three euros each. Three euros each. Yeah. Well, it's not one here. It's inside. I don't know. Carasimano. Dalmo. Bro, what's that? It's more than one here. I think. Two euros each. Two pounds. Two pounds. You want to take a pound for it? No, no, it's not. Sorry, two pounds. You got change? I'm ready. 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 How much for this one, mate? It's, uh, it's, it's two pounds. Two pounds. Take 150 for that one, mate. Thanks, mate.
it's a 40 pound. Yeah. So that's five on. Mate, one pound for that one. How much is Cheers, thank you. How much? How much are you after on the headsets, mate? Sorry? How much are you after on the headsets? £2.58, so £2.58, yeah. They'll work. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds later. Can you take £2 for these yeah, ones, mate? Pound, mate? Yeah, nice one. Morning, is this your one? Yeah. How much is that one? Two, Two pounds, yeah? Two. Yeah, I'll take that, thank you. And we are back, YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm in the game, my channel's buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electrical items I can get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. Uh, so I'm getting traded into CEX at a high price so I can build my own gaming collection. So yes, back with another Sunday boot sale. Uh, it went pretty well. Um, well, pretty well in my opinion, but it could have been a little bit better. The second boot sale really let me down. I mean, to be honest, the second boot sale has normally been the better one. Um, it starts a little bit, a little bit later. It's on a hard standing. Um, park and ride in, in Chelmsford. Um, but yeah, I was, I was there for maybe an hour and a half, maybe close to two hours walking around. Didn't find nothing except for one thing, which is this keyboard. Um, so yeah, obviously if, if, if the second boot sale was better, it would have been a really good day. But luckily, as, as how it always is, the first boot sale was uh, the savior. And then obviously the second one was, was the letdown. But yes, um, Let's get into it. So the first pickup of the day was this uh, big Cary Grant, uh, the movie collection. Um, I think there's like 14 or, yeah, 14, oh, sorry, 21 classic movies. I don't know if you can see it in there. Now, sorry, it says it up there as well, 21 classics. Now, CEX w will only give me £6 voucher for this, but there are none in stock in CEX. Now, my experience with CEX is that if there's something that's not in stock um at cex it's normally because the price that they've got it at is undervalued and i've had a look on ebay um they, they sell it sorry they cex sell it for maybe 12 pound i think i've had a look on ebay and i think i might be able to get 15 pound for this so i'm going to put it on ebay to start with um see how i get on i'll lower my price as i always do but to be honest i haven't you know i've never had to I've never put anything on uh, eBay that hasn't sold that I've then taken to CEX. But if you know it doesn't sell on eBay for whatever reason, I'll uh, I can take it into CEX and get six pound. I did pay three pound for it, so I would be doubling my money, not tripling. But yeah, happy to take a punt on that. They're all there, all complete. So yeah, hopefully three pound into fifteen pound, but we'll see. Um, and then yes, uh, I can't remember which order I picked these up in. I think. These ones here, um, again, apologies, it's, my camera, 
my GoPro. I've got three batteries for it now. So it's not a, a, um, a case of actually running out of battery life. It's just when the battery runs out and I have to change it, it's like it's happening at the most awkward of times, um, which is when I pick these ones up. Now, you probably heard in the footage, the guy was asking a tenner for them, um, managed to get them down to eight pound. Uh, they are a pair of Razer um, Ultimate Kraken, I believe, uh, headset. Tested them, obviously the microphone bit all comes out there, all lights up, all works. Um, only thing going against it, I don't know if you can see there, but there's a little bit of a scratch on this side. So whether or not I get the B or the C grade, um, I'm, I'm not too sure. But I think the C grade, I get £28 uh, voucher. And the B grade, I think is maybe £32 or £33, something like that. So yeah, £8 there into potentially 32 but realistically probably 28 pounds so so really happy with uh with those um and then yeah second pickup was another headset um which is a turtle beach uh what are these recon 70x uh again all working in good condition um paid two pound for that and i think it trades in for 16 or 18 pound so again really good markup on that there was some other um, headsets for sale on the same stall as this but I couldn't see the branding I couldn't figure out what model they were um, and I didn't know whether to take a punt on them or not I went back a little bit later and they're both sold so I'm assuming that they was maybe decent but I'm not too clued up on on the logos and the brands and if you let me know in the comments if they were good headsets if I missed out because I do remember the the logo and obviously I can check again so it'll be something I'll, I'll keep an eye out for in the future but for the ones I did pick up, again, £2 into £16 to £18. Really, really happy. Again, talking about battery, um, these were the only two games that I managed to pick up uh, on the day, and I didn't manage to get it on camera because, again, my battery ran out and I didn't realise, so I apologise. Um, but, yeah, Midnight Club uh, Los Angeles. Unfortunately, it's not complete uh, on the PlayStation 3. Um, and then Sniper Elite V2 on the uh, xbox 360 that one is complete paid a pound each for them and they both trade in for uh three pound each so yeah two pound into six pound happy days and then yeah the last stall of the first boot sale um house clearance with a load of dvds uh for sale um i think when i first went there it was like yeah it was a pound each um like there was all just boxes of them and then obviously I pulled out a box set and he was like, oh, no, no, that's no, more than one. Um, so this was the first one, which is a cr Cracker, the complete collection. I've picked this up before. Um, he said £2 and it trades in for £6. So I was like, all right, go on, then I'll, I'll do, do it on that one. Um, it is all there and complete. So yeah, £2 into £6. And then the next one um, was Roswell, the complete DVD collection. Loads of discs in there. But... It's only one case. <laughs> so I, was, I think I said to him, oh, we take £1.50 for it. He went, oh, go on then. So yeah, £1.50 into £5. And then the last one, which uh, when I picked this out, I thought uh, I thought it might have been worth a little bit more money. But um, yeah, it's Goodnight Sweetheart, the complete collection. Um, again, all there. To be honest, they look brand new. I don't know if you noticed in the footage, but it's still got like a, it's like a HMV price tag in there. So whether or not he got like some ex, you know, clearance from HMV or whatever for all of these, um, and obviously, could, yeah, look, I mean, it's still got the security label on it there, but um, because that was on its own, I said, "Oh, would you take a pound?" And he said, "Yeah." So one pound into seven pound, be happy. One pound into seven pound, um, and then yeah, second boot sale. As I was saying, not much to to uh, to go over really. Um, it's a, it was a day of, you know, just missed out. So I think there was a stall um, where another guy that I bump into, Phil, um, he said that they had some, uh, well, they had a load of games, but there was a copy of Grand Theft Auto on the PlayStation 1 and he was just asking a pound a game. It was like um, clearance for charity or something like that. Um, so, yeah, he just missed out on that. There was another stall that I went to where a guy had like a, um, a you know, a bundle of PlayStation 2 games like that and I could see... I think there was a couple of Tekkens and Raymans and stuff like that in there. So probably worth a little bit of trading. But but yeah, unfortunately missed out on most things. But I did manage to get this, uh, which is a Daz, Daz, however you want to pronounce that, keyboard mechanical S. Uh, sorry, mechanical keyboard. This is a Model S. Um, so yeah, £2 paid. 
um, and I believe that trades in for £18 voucher for the B or the C version. So again, you know, some, some really good markups on, on what I paid and, and what I'll be getting back for them. Um, so yeah, really, really happy. Like I say, £2 into £18 there, £2 into £16, £1 into £7, you know, more than tripling my money on, on most of the items that I bought today. So really, really happy. Um, I'll put it on the screen now exactly how much I spent and how much I'm hoping to get back. But yeah, like I said, really good day in terms of voucher. Um, starting to build up the vouchers now because I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers. I may even have hit it by the time this uh, video goes out. So in my next video or the one after, um, I'll be doing a CEX voucher giveaway. So please do uh, you know keep an eye out for that. Really want to be giving some vouchers to one of you uh, lucky subscribers. So yeah, um, as always, everyone, take care and I will see you all in the next one.